The Democratic presidential primary has had unprecedented levels of enthusiasm and excitement, passion and engagement. The question now for both candidates has got to be, how do you keep that passion, that engagement and that enthusiasm going through a long primary season and what might turn out to be a hot summer? Hey, can I get an amen? so far. This uh, rally was put on by MoveOn.org and some assorted other volunteers with a lot of local politicians. It was fairly sparsely attended, but the excitement was quite palpable and the passion of the people who were here was uh, intense. My name is Stella Hines, S-T-E-L-L-A, -L -L and I'm an Obama supporter. And well, let me show you this. So we're throwing a party for Barack Obama next Sunday the 27th at Andrews on Lincoln, 11th at Lincoln. It's going to be a good time. That's what I got to say. All right, well, tell me this. Yes. You know, you're clearly pretty involved. You're really pretty stoked. How do you keep it up? How do you keep it up? Is it things kind yeah. of keep going? I think it's because what, it, what reminded me when I came out here today, when you hear people starting to talk about the future of this country. They get excited about it and it brings a tear to my eyes. And that's why I want to keep staying involved. You know, Super Tuesday was a long time ago, but I think the effort's got to stay here, you know, alive. So, anyway. You know, it's such a beautiful day today in Denver, Colorado. And equally, I hope it's a, just as nice a day in all the other states, especially North Carolina, where we're going to win. Especially Pennsylvania, where we're going to win. Especially Illinois and Indiana, and especially even Puerto Rico, where it's always nice. Any Obama people in the house? All of any Obama people in the house? Don't sit on your ears. Any Obama people in the house? All of some Obama people over there. Huh? Some Obama people over there. How about right here? Any Obama people over here? Change over there. As a team, we're going to win this state of Colorado for Barack Obama. And it, will take, it will take everything we've got and then some to do this. Now, a couple things. We know, we know that we're here because. We sense something different about Barack Obama. In life, sometimes you just know. And we know that this man will be one of the greatest presidents this country has ever seen. You know, there's hope. That's why we're here to make sure that we get someone in the White House who's not just about scaring us into doing something, but someone who's going to call each and every one of us to be great. Because what we need to do in this country is not going to be done by one person in the White House. It's not going to be done by a team of people in Washington, D.C. What needs to be done to right this country and turn it around comes right down to each and every one of us working hard each and every day to make sure that our government is the government we expect it to be, to make sure that we have a president who's the president that we expect our president to be, and that person is Barack Obama. It's, it's terribly important for us to be out here. We've got to keep the momentum. And, you know, the candidate is doing what he needs to do in, in getting, getting the votes in other parts of the country, and we need to do our share in keeping the hope alive and keeping the uh, energy and the momentum and keeping motivated because there's a lot of work to be done if we're going to make him president. And, you know, we, we've, got to, we've got to get that energy from within ourselves, and, you know, to, make, get, to get the job done. But I'm here to tell you today that we are seeing and living through history. We are about to not only see Barack Obama elected, but we're about to see that when the American people stand up, when the American people press the button for values, when the American people press the button for their future, 
when the American people pressed the button for getting out of Iraq because we should have never been there in the first place. When the American people vote for Barack Obama, we are about to change the American story. It's Barack Obama time in America. Are you with me? Do I have some folks with me? The young people of this country have been the wind in Barack Obama's sails. And we have to make sure that these young people stay as excited and involved in politics as they have been this year. The effect of so many new people involved in this campaign that have never been involved before gives us a chance uh, to make a difference and, and to change the party, not, I mean, change our country, but this is, this is, these people are saying we want in. And it's up to us to open the doors and say, yeah, come on in, the more the merrier. You know, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of energy this last year. There's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of uh, controversy. There's been a lot of uh, media. And there's, you know, people always trying to measure a campaign of, about the colors that it has, about the signs that it has, about the slogan, about the donors. But let's not forget what the campaign is really about. Let's not forget that this isn't just a campaign, that this is a movement, and this movement is about people. I have kids 16, 21, and 26. They understand the importance of this election just as each and every one of you understand that what we're talking about is our future and the legacy that we will leave 100 years from now and 200 years from now. I am confident that we will get through this process. And one of the things that makes me so confident about that is that there are rallies like this one all around the country. In my memory, which is a long one now, I don't know of any event like this for any elected office. Our caucuses are over. You know, there's stuff still going on. The convention will be right here soon, but that's still four months away. And the campaign won't really start seriously until September. But where are all of you on a lovely Saturday afternoon? You're out here because you feel so strongly about this election and this candidate. You know, I think the energy stays alive as we keep talking to one another, we keep talking to our neighbors and our family, we keep talking about the issues that he's raising, watching the news, and sharing that with other people along the way, um, you know, talking to our neighbors, uh, it's, it's, it's spring, the weather's warm, the days are longer, it's time to get out on the streets, start knocking on doors, I mean, it, this is a campaign that can maintain the momentum over the summer months. This is going to take each and every one of us working every single day to convince our friends and our neighbors and our family and a lot of people that we don't know. This, this battle that we have ahead of us is not for the shy and it's not for the retiring. This is a time not to be bashful, not to be jerks, but not to be bashful in convincing people that we need a change in direction of this country and the man who can lead us with that change is Senator Barack Obama. Yes, we can, and yes, we will. Thank you very much. Yes, we can. Yes, yes we, we can. can. Yes, we 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 can. Folks, we got. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I was very serious. No, we don't need that. I was, I was very serious with that discussion. Now, what I really like to do is go, Obama, 08. Obama, 08. Obama, 08.